Howdy folks, welcome to episode 66. Today we're going to continue, I think, with this. I was looking at the map and seeing where we can do stuff and uh, what we can do. <clears throat> and I think, see these things are like wandering around. I think we we can do is we can take some lumber up to the, um, up to the, uh, whatchamacallit, let me look at all these cars. They were, yeah, see they're wandering around. Anyway, we're going to go up to the uh, the iron mine. And let's fill this up, 49%. There. Get some in there. There we go. All right. We're going to go up to the iron mine and uh, see what we can do as far as that goes. And so I need to get this move in. And let's go like this. And let's get a little bit, let's get a little bit of movement here. I'm not sure if if we can pull these up around this corner it's going to give me problems there we go all right and that corner's tricky that corner is very tricky and it wants to come off the tracks of course all right let's see if we can get it to come back on when we get to the um if we can very carefully drag it without it falling off if we can get it to go past the switch that should put it back on so let's go like this and let's get this switch in place and we're gonna go out that one so yeah we're gonna go over a couple things that are normally like a big problem so we're gonna see <laughs> we're gonna see what happens if not I can reload it nah, I don't think it's gonna go is it I don't think it's gonna go all right, let's hit the brake. Let's get out here and see what's going on. Is it just the one car? It is just the one car, and it does not want to move. Okay, we're going to try pulling it a little bit harder. Just see if we can pop it back onto the track. <laughs> like that's a thing. But it's, it's on the outside, so we'll see. If we can go like this... Let's go back a tiny bit. Compress. Okay, that should give us some room. Is it going to go? No, but it's also not coming off the tracks either. So let's see if we can get it to move. See if we can get it to self-correct once it hits the switch, because that tends to realign it when you get there. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens, because that should not have come off the track for that. I probably should have backed it off and just let it come around that on its own thing, because when you stop there, it's where it seems to be problematic. See, I need to be careful because it's going to pull the one behind it off if if I get going too much. And then they all go launching, right? Let's see what we've got here. Especially, I think once if we can get it onto the straightaway, we should be in a lot better shape. Let's get some volume here. All right, we're coasting. I'm sure that totally wouldn't be like destroying the ties and everything else, right? But. That shouldn't be off the track anyway. Okay. And apparently there's been a couple updates to the main branch. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm updated to that because oh man, now another one's coming off. Why? Why would that one in front of it come off? See, it's pulling back onto the track now because it's a straightaway. So let's see if we can get this to happen. Something's gonna happen when it hits this. When it gets to this switch is it going to go back on well at least it's just it's gently dragging okay and we are good on the switches here right yes really I look the other way and that's when it goes okay 
Seriously. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna reload, because that's... dumb. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, we're back. And, you know, it's interesting that it did that when I looked away. I swear it's like one of those that's not loading the chunks and it's doing low-quality physics while you're not looking at it. You know, that sort of deal? I think that's what's going on. So, try this again. <laughs> right? You can do it. There we go. That's interesting. It was at 50% that time. Wasn't it at 55% last time? Okay, so our cars are okay. Let's check the... Before we... Oh, I need to do this. I need to attach this. And then let's check our... Let's check all our switches so that we've got all those in place before we get doing anything else. So we're going to go around that. Come around here and come around here and then we're gonna go back so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna come around here and then we're gonna see if we can make it up that hill <laughs> so if not you know then we don't and if we do we do if we don't we don't that kind of thing okay so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go back a little bit I'm gonna um, change two variables at the same time so that we can't tell what actually made the difference you know <laughs> Instead of actually changing only one variable and then being like, yep, that's definitely what happened. And then everybody can argue over whether it was, well, I think we can, I think we can uh, settle that debate real quick, huh? <laughs> All right. Well, instead of pulling forward through this, we're going to see if we can go backwards. We're going to go backwards. All right. And we're going to come around the inside, I guess. All right, and we're going to let this coast. And while we're doing that, we need to get this switch in line. Oh, see? It's, as soon as I look away. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we're going to try again. I'm going to do this without rerailing any cars. <laughs> All right, be right back. All right, we're back for take three. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try going around you know what no we're gonna go around the inside here so we want this switch to be this way we want this switch to be this way all right so that's our track there and then we want to go that way and then we want to go that way and then we're gonna come around this corner I'm gonna do this without the mod because remember before we were getting problems with it was crashing because of the mod. Okay, those two are fine. And then it's this one switch over here. Where is it? This one over here needs to be this way. Okay. And then we're going to come around this. And once we get around to this, then we'll have to switch. So instead of, um, instead of trying to... Uh, yeah, instead of trying to go backwards, instead of trying to load up the um, the engine with fuel, we're just going to go, and we'll see what happens here. So we're going to, you know, it's because it's we didn't blow the whistle, right? All right, we're going to go like this, see if we can get it to move just the tiniest bit. There we go. <laughs> it's it's moving. Can you see it moving? Because I don't think there's any reason for it to actually... Um, there. I don't think there's any reason for it to pop off the track, especially going this slow. You know, we're not doing anything crazy. It's not like a super sharp turn or anything. Yeah, see, it's still doing it. It's still doing it. There's just something magical about that corner right there that it just does not like. Alright, let's see what's going on back here. Is it it's this car right here? And it's just the back that came off? We might be able to get that to come back on then. Let's see. 
see if we can gently maneuver this such that it comes back on. Okay, so it's that side of that thing. So we're going to come back up to like this. All right. There, I think it's back on. I think it's back on, and I think once we get around this corner, we should be okay. Because I think the rest of them are on. Yeah. I think they're getting past that popping point. There's got to be something going on with that. There's like a bad joint there or something. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. All right, so we're going to do is we're going to take this and this at the same time. There we go. And we're going to stay at... <laughs> You can stay at 6%. Sure, why not? All right, there we go. Because I think we are on level ground now. We should be able to just coast through most of this. I just want to keep an eye on all of these cars. I don't want to let them out of view, because apparently letting them out of view causes them to, to pop off the track. See, I put the... the window in front of them and that's when they popped off. It's picking up too much speed here. All right. Yeah, remember before there was a time when I had a bunch of stuff that was being real terrible about that too. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. It's, it's like this intermittent, you know, <laughs> poppiness. All right. So we're over here. Should we stop and jump out and save the game? <laughs> right? Just because we made it? <laughs> All right. So now we're going to go over to the other. Yep, this one. And we're going to go around this corner. Now, remember, if you remember a long time ago, we crashed on. Um, we had a pileup on this other corner out here, too. So on this big turnaround. So we'll see if we end up with that again or not. But we're going to take it easy around this corner. We can go a little bit more, give it a little bit more speed than that. But yeah, once we get to this corner here. Oh, you know what? This is the one. Let's slow way down. There we go. Okay. We're just going to let it coast around this. See, it's already popping all over the place. It's jumping and popping and everything else. I think it's these, you know what? It's, I'll bet it's these new cars. The old the old cars were not, um, I don't know. It's the, the distance between the pins versus the width it determines how sharp of a corner they can go around, if you know what I mean. But man, these are terrible. I don't think I'm going to be able to get very far if they keep popping off the track every time I do anything. <laughs> right. Okay, let's see if we can get around this. Because if we can get around... It's the same car, too. If we can get around this, then we can get to that corner there. Or the... the um, not the corner, the... Um, what's it called? The switch. If we can get to the switch... Hopefully it'll put the cars back on again. Let's see. Because we're totally not tearing up all the track by doing this. Just this one corner. <laughs> I'm afraid to, to get out of the cab because <laughs> it's going to really freak out, right? But I at least want to get this onto a straightaway before we can stop it and and jump out and make sure all the other switches are working. It's not the mod doing it, I can tell you that much. Because when I first started using it, we were getting all kinds of weird derails like that, where things were just popping off the tracks randomly, but I'm not using it now, so... As you can see, there's no map up there. All right, we should be able to get onto the switch here. It should align it. Come on, you can do it! You can do it! You can do it. I just don't want to pull harder than the pins can 
can hold, you know? There we go. Can you do it? I think it, I don't think it's fixing it. It went across the frogs and it didn't fix it. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Is it just the one car again? It's just the one. All right, we're gonna try to pull. I'm tempted to try to push it. Yeah, we're gonna try to pull it a little bit harder here and see if we can get it to, to go back on the rails. No, oh, there we go. Yay. See, I'm a genius. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's when the whole thing pops off, right? <laughs> the whole thing just completely, you know, they all just confetti. <laughs> all right. Don't look away. See, I looked away. Watch. You ready? Look away. Look back. Nope. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Maybe if I do this, <laughs> yeah, who knows? It's that one car, I, think. I swear it's like just the one car too. That same car keeps wanting to come off the tracks. I mean, it's not like it's any different, you know what I mean? There's, there's nothing different about it. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna get on the straightaway here and then we're gonna stop and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to load up the mod and I'm going to check all the brakes and we're going to turn the brakes on and then off. Maybe one of the variables got, um, maybe one of the variables got up, you know what I mean? Didn't load. Oh man, really? Come on. <laughs> it knows I found the solution, right? Okay. That's ridiculous. Okay. I guess we're just destined destined to do this oh man i'm gonna have to go back over the switch to do this aren't i there we go is it gonna roll backwards it is okay these are all gonna roll backwards okay that works that's gonna work itself out in a second here so we're gonna let this roll so that all of these are past the um thingy because then they'll rail themselves. They'll be able to re-rail themselves. All right, so that has a pin. Let's make sure there's no pin on this one. Okay, good. And re-rail. All right, we'll get this. Is there a pin on this? Yes. Okay, so we wanna pin a pin, put a pin on this one that one's going to go forward. This one's going backwards. Whoops. We put pins on those. These are good. That one has no pin, and then this one should have a pin. All right. And then that's going to connect up with this. All right. Break zero. Okay. So let's load up our mod here. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna check our map here. We're gonna go like this, open controls. We're gonna set and reset the brakes on all these just so we don't have anything weird happening. All right, and then we're gonna do the same with the other ones once we get them connected. Reverser. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but maybe re-railing it will help, or putting that one on the end or something. I don't know if it's just got a weird, weird position or something like that, I don't know. A little bit, a little bit more. There we go. 
All right, let's jump out and we're going to go get that. Because this is rolling downhill gently. There we go. Okay, so let's get back in the cab. All right, so now what we have is we have all these cars. Let's go into our this. Set the brake, reset the brake. There's there's six cars like we had. See that one's showing it has brakes. That's weird. There. Open controls. There we go. Alright. No brakes. Okay. Looks good. All right, let's go like this. Let's jump in here and let's do this. And we're going to go forward. All right, let's make sure our switches are in place. This switch, because we're coming out that way. And then we're going to go this way. And we're going to go up the hill. So let's make sure our uphill is good. That and that and then that and then all the way to there. Okay. How's this doing? Alright, looks like it's doing okay. Alright, we're gonna see if we can get up that hill. If we can't get up the hill, we'll we'll just we're gonna slide back down and we'll go up the uh, the long way. But I wanna see if we can make it up that should be fun, right? Let's go full speed here. All right. Let's see what we can do on this hill. <laughs> Wish us luck, right? It's not dragging the cars anyway. It's not dragging them off the thing. This is the this is the real test here. Those trees popping into my vision are like <laughs> freaking me out. It looks like we're gonna make it. If we can get up this little segment right here. Yep, we got it. Cool. Nice. Yeah, I think the re-rail fixed it. I don't know what was up with that. It might be that restarting the computer would have fixed it too, but let's see. We're going to come up with this. Yep, our switch is good. Okay. It may have been that like a reboot would have fixed it too, you know? There's just something... Something was not happy back there. All right. You get a variable that loads in at a default value and then it doesn't get changed by the, oh man, that would suck to fail right at the last, <laughs> at the end, right? Okay. All right, cool. Nice. Yeah, that was much more fun going up the shortcut. <laughs> if you count the, if you don't count all the other stuff as part of, you know, being a shortcut, right? Two, three, four, we still have all six cars, okay. <laughs> all right, so while this is running, we're gonna go check and make sure that we've got a clear path all the way back. All the way back up. We're gonna bring these all the way back up. So we need to get this switch here. I swear it only does it when it when I'm moving fast so that it won't stay on there. Okay, and then we're going to go this way. We're going to take that. We're going to go um, around this way. 
through the station around this way through that and then we're going to come back up this way and then we're going to back in to here so in our yep we've got brakes on those okay cool so i think we are good as far as that goes we'll just need to make sure we've got a clippy on that thing but other than that we should be good we're going to slow down a little bit for this corner There we go. Should probably... Got to go up this little hill here. But we were coming through town. <laughs> we're coming through the busy area. We should probably do that, you know? All right. All right, we can speed up a little here. So the plan is we need 26 lumber and 12 beams. And I, if I remember correctly, it's three beams it's three beams and six lumber per car. So we need five lumber cars and three beam cars, right? And I think we'll take the class 70 up there. I think we should take the class 70 up to the, to the iron mine. I don't think this is the I want to take the one with the cool whistle. That's the Heisler, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's the Heisler, and that's slower. But I think we have that down at um, down at the oil, not the refinery, but the oil wells. I think that's where that is. Let's see. We've got a while here. Well, that's going. Which one is this? Which one is this? Sky. Yeah, that's Sky. Yeah, we're, we'll take Sky Warp over there. That should be fun. So we'll return this one, and then we'll take Sky Warp over. I need to turn off that little pop-up automatic game detection thing. <laughs> it does that every time I come out of the. Thing. It's because I've got the. Um, I've got that UI active. I opened it up on the taskbar or whatever, so now it keeps popping that up. Because I don't think it was doing that before. All right. Just these two major areas major areas yeah these two big areas and then we're there to switch places <laughs> switch dense areas right areas with lots of switches all right we're gonna coast around this since it's I don't know it doesn't seem like it's being poppy anymore so I think it was just corrupted something right That car was just insisting on coming off the tracks at every opportunity. All right. Yep, I think we're good here. There we go. We can look out the window. And I think we have enough fuel. Can we... 
Ten percent. Yep. All right. Let's see. I think we are leaned over that way. Yeah. All right. That's cool. Our switch is correct. All right. Cool. Make sure we still got all our cars back. Whoa! That scared me for a second. <laughs> I didn't see any car. I saw one car. That was scary. <laughs> There's the adrenaline. Hello, adrenaline. Nice to meet you. Okay. <laughs> all right. No, nope, we're good here. Cool. <laughs> Hate when that happens, right? Yay, we got all our cars, and you only see one. I'm glad they had those drones back in the 1800s so that we could watch our cars like this, right? Okay. <laughs> Coming into town. Okay. We're going to coast. We don't need to go zipping a zillion miles an hour through town. We're going to coast through town here. There we go. And then we can back these. Like I said back these in. Let's go check. Because I know that one doesn't have a thing on the back of it. So this one's going to need one on the front. All right, and the brakes are on it. There's our other stake cars. See, we've got even more of these stake cars here. We should put those together as long as we're doing all this, right? All right. So, yeah, let's do that. I think that's going to be this episode, and then next episode we'll actually be able to get up to the iron mines. But we're going to put those other two cars on here. All right, let's go like this. And these should have the brakes on. There we go. All right. And we'll gently stop once we get past this. So we get past the switch. Almost there. There we go, and I think we're there. There we go. All right. All right, let's have the operator flip the switch. And let's do this. All right. And get this loaded up and then we can put them all together again back where they belong right we got four six is ten and we got twelve of those cool it'd be fun to get all the twelve of those completely loaded up to the to the gills with barrels so they did a couple of updates and it looks like he's gonna try to get all of this debugged first before um, he does the full the rest the other spline the new splines at least the parts of the thing that don't involve these splines I think is what he's trying to debug but anyway yeah that's it looks like that's the plan we can slow down just a little bit there we go okay two there we go. Okay. Let it stop. All right. We're going to do that from the UI instead. So let's go make sure that our train is all connected. Make sure that our cars are all connected. Why does that look different? Why do these look different? Lumber, iron, rails, beams. Oh, those are... Did they change the graphics or am I just looking at them wrong? 
I totally was looking at him wrong, wasn't I? <laughs> I totally was. I don't know why I was thinking these were the same. I guess they changed the graphics on them, and yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's take that out. <laughs> they we're totally not needing those. I don't know why it was... Yeah, brain fart. That happens. <laughs> All right. That happens sometimes when you're a genius. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Go fast. Go faster. Go faster and get out of here. Pretend like that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I was thinking I could... Those were the same. It's, it's the stakes. I swear they changed the stakes on those. All right. We'll change that switch back to... Once we get past it. There we go. We're going to change that switch. All right, and then we need to get up past here. Whoops. We can we can give it a little gas here. There we go. There, nice. All right, we'll turn our bell back on. And I know these are the same, right? <laughs> Where did those other two cars come from then? That's what I want to know. Where did those other two cars come from? Were they extras from... They weren't extras from there. They must have been the ones... Oh, I think it's because we had oil and beams and box cars or something like that on there. Whatever it was. We had a mixed train and we just took those off to put the oil cars back. I think that's what it was. We only needed a couple beams or some deal like that. That was a long time ago. That was like months and months ago. So honestly, I don't remember. All right, we're going to wait for these cars to get past this. Because we would have somebody back there standing there telling us, right? There we go. And we'll stop. Flip the switch and there we go. All right, cool. And that should let us put everything back <laughs> the way we found it a little bit ago. Are these empty now? They should be empty. Well, yeah, there's no barrels there. I'm very observant today, aren't I? <laughs> I was looking for the numbers. I was so focused on the numbers that I forgot. Oh, yeah, there's barrels that show up there when, you know, when that happens, when, there's, when they're there. We're going to let it go a little bit more. Wait till we get about a car length, and then we'll hit the brakes. It looks so much closer over here than it does there, doesn't it? All right. There. Let's get back there. Is that it right there? Ah, ah, ah. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Brakes. Ah! <laughs> All right. I did do that. Okay. Can we open controls? All right. We're going to go just the tiniest bit. There we go. Is it going to is it going to push that little impulse back through? Why is this one red? The brakes are on it. Why are the brakes on that one? there. Okay. That was weird. All right. Let's see. Okay. We've got the brakes on all, all of these. See, this one is showing up as red. 
but then when we click on it there's no brakes so something's going on with that there's something that's that's changing yeah I don't know what that is but that's weird okay anyway yeah that's gonna be it for episode 66 we're gonna just leave this part here for now because it's probably what we're gonna use next anyway but yeah that's gonna be it for episode 66 join me in episode 67 yeah, it must have been the ones that we were loading from here. Okay, that's join me in episode 67, and uh, we'll do some. We'll bring the the beams of stuff down to the uh, or up to the iron mine, and we'll see you then. Later.